Conventions. <sighs> Did it to me again. Greetings, comic book friends. Uh, so there was yet another little convention this weekend that uh, that I went to. Um, this this is more of a toy convention, a toy show. Uh, but sometimes people will bring some comics. But they're they're like and, and, and other stuff too, right? It's it's pretty loosely a toy convention. It's mostly toys, but um, you'll you'll get other stuff. Uh, just kind of all in that general hobby area. Um, and I, I go to this whenever it comes around. It's like every, it's three times a year or so. And I never, I never plan on really coming away with much. Because uh, mostly it is toys, and when it comes to, to comes to toys, there are very specific things I look for that they usually don't have. Um, Migos, obviously. Uh, very rarely do I see Migos there. Um, there are a handful of Transformer things I'm looking for. Uh, the, the original cassette tapes, uh, mostly. And those usually aren't there. Uh, if, if you're looking for... Um, Star Wars and G.I. Joe stuff, they got you for sure. But um, on the toy front, there's usually not a whole lot. Uh, so when I go, I'm like, yeah, I'll go. Even though like I, I was like, I went to this convention last weekend and spent way too much. I'll go to this one because rarely is there stuff for me. Um, and if there is, it's something um, fairly, fairly small. Um, like I think, yeah, oh, it's still back here. Last time I went, I didn't have a video because I think the only thing that I bought stupidly were, uh, the audio tapes of, uh, of how to speak Klingon. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, because I remember I had this as a, no, you want to, I remember talking about this. Maybe I did get more last time. I don't remember. All the cons bleed together. So, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this dumb thing, I'm going thinking maybe I'll spend, I don't know, 20, 30, something like that. There's usually not a whole, whole lot that, that, that they have. <sighs> should have stayed home. <laughs> I should have stayed home and I would have lived in ignorant bliss. Um, so, I... I did. There were some comics. Um, I guess I can. I can probably do this just like in the order that I that I got them. Uh, there was a guy there that he he had some. They're not like huge books, but they were good books, and they had them priced very well. Um, for for what they were. Books that I've been wanting, um, but don't necessarily want like high grade. Because I don't care as, as much about them. Uh, but even for the grade that they, these are at, his prices were really, really good. And even on top of that, I threw him an offer, um, lower than what he had priced at. He's like, yeah, sure. Whatever. Like, all right. Uh, so jungle action number five. So this is the first solo black Panther. This is when black Panther took over jungle action, uh, and the first Mbaku, uh, as well. But I think more importantly, it's the first. Um, solo Black Panther. Uh, and this this has, like, there's a little tear on the back. And that's what I said to him, like, and the, 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 the next one, too, had a little thing going on the back. Like, yeah, I'm not real sure about the backs of these are a little bit, eh. Nah. Uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see. And then he had, hey, Jungle Action number six, the first Killmonger. I, I mean, I've wanted this book because Killmonger, cool. But this has been, like, you don't see this book for less than 150 bucks. Um, this was priced significantly below that, and then it also made made a deal with, with me. Uh, it's it, it presents very, very well. It has a little thing going on in the back, but I think I might be able to fix it a little bit. Um, on the back of this, it's, it's torn, right? But this one, it's just kind of folded down, and I don't think there's a tear. Uh, it creases, but I can at least flatten it out. Uh, but I think um, both of these actually will be much, much better with a press. So I'll be sure to do that. But 
Uh, yeah, the, I was happy to get those. I've wanted these for a while. Uh, this one's not too big of a deal. Um, I just, I don't have it, but I also don't care that much, but it was cheap. Uh, Simpsons, number one. Could definitely use a press. There are a couple color-breaking spine ticks, but again, I don't care that much about the Simpsons. I think it's just a good book to have in, in a collection. So I picked it up and, and paid the pittance that uh, it was uh, priced at. Um, this one I was real happy with because I've been looking for this book. I've been trying to get this book for a long time, but for some reason it jumped up in price and I don't understand why. Uh, it is Amazing Adventures 11, which is the first furry beast. A, again, another book that even in really beat up sh shape, I don't see for less than a hundred bucks, which I don't get. Like, it's not the first beast, it's just beast. I understand it's like a next... Hey, pup. Don't puke back there. It's like the first time he's been furry or whatever. I get it. It's cool. And that's why it's a key and why I want it. But I don't $100 want it. Uh, and this is this was in better condition than I've seen $100 books going for. And it was priced like at half that. And then less. Um, I, I was... I, I could not believe... I could not believe what I walked away for... Walked away with for for what I paid for these. Um, three, three pretty decent keys. One, Simpsons kind of mad key, but again, for the price it was, it's like, this should probably, this should probably be in my collection, right? There's things that, I don't know. Like, I, I want to get, I want to get a Sonic number one, right? I don't care about Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I don't really particularly care for Sonic the Hedgehog games. Uh, the only comics I've read with Sonic the Hedgehog was when uh, there was a, you know, a crossover with the Mega Man comic. Um, but I think that's a significant comic. So I would like to have it in my collection. Um, so that's kind of what The Simpsons is. I, I don't care that much about The Simpsons, but it is, it is an iconic series and its first issue is sort of iconic. Um, also, I'm in a great Fantastic Four 1 um, homage. So... I, I did that, and I'm like, I'm I'm good for this convention. This was like the first table I stopped at. Uh, if 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 I didn't get anything else, I would have been completely happy. Uh, but that wasn't the case <laughs> because it's me. Um, so there's there's um, a gentleman there that um, mostly deals in cards, like trading cards. Uh, he also has a lot of like that starting lineup stuff from the 90s. But he has a lot of trading cards, particularly Star Trek trading cards. He's where I've gotten most of my sets of Star Trek. <clears throat> this time he had something real special. Uh, he had some unopened boxes of... I mean, they aren't... So the, the Star Trek cards that I have are like... It's the original, original series set. It's the original motion picture set, or motion pictures one through four set, because they didn't do a five and a six. Th they are, you know, this this came out in 1993, and it's a mix of original series, original series movies, Next Generation, and DS9 cards are in here, uh, in, in this set. It's, it's, it's a mix. And I'm, I'm usually not as interested in this sort of thing. I want sort of like the vintage stuff of the time. Um, but, but, uh, well, okay. So they, they were priced ridiculously. So they're all fact, they're factory sealed. So I bought two of those to hope to put a set together and he had more. So he's like, if you don't, if you don't put the set together, I have more and I have even more at home. So next time you could buy more boxes to try to finish the set. So it's, it's the 1993, um, master series set, uh, two boxes of the 1994 master series set. Um, this set of just star Trek official trading cards. Uh, this has, um, OG Star Trek and Next Generation in it. And then the second series of that run, uh, which 
which continues this. Um, he, he, he told me like the, where the numbers end on the first one, these just pick up. So like to get, this is like makes one super set. Uh, I only got one of each of these. That's all he had there. But again, he said he had more. So next time um, I'll, I'll pick those up um, if, if uh, I don't complete sets. I probably won't complete sets with just one box of these because there's, I mean, there's a, a good amount of cards in here. Doesn't really tell you how many. Um, but uh, yeah, together these make the 25th anniversary collector set. Um, also, what's more fun? Like, oh, man, I, I used to collect trading you know, cards like this when I was younger, most like, you know, Marvel cards and X-Men and some DC stuff. Kraken Packs is fun. I love Kraken Packs. Um, so I got all six of these sealed boxes for $15. Not $15 each. $15 total <laughs> for all six of these. So again, I usually don't get this kind of stuff, but to get unopened boxes that I can have fun cracking for like $15, like that's less than going out to dinner and I'll have more fun with this. So yeah. And uh, depending what's, what's in there when I crack them, I'll get more when, uh, when I go back next time. Super excited to crack those. Uh, all right. And then the next, and thankfully last, uh, there is, uh, oh, and so I, I showed these to uh, uh, a, a buddy of mine that, that was uh, was a vendor at, at that show and showed it to him. And he's like, I can't believe it cost those. Like, I'm going to go pick some up. And I said, you better not buy him out because I might need to come back and get more later. So don't you dare buy him out. And he showed up. Yeah, you'll come back and buy him from me. I'm like, you, so Oscar, mm. if you bought him out, I'm going to be very, very upset. And I'll know. And I'll know. Because I'll talk to him next time. Like, some guy came, came and bought you out, didn't he? Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, so the last place I hit up, uh, it, there's actually um, a, a, a store here that, that just does, like like a, a brick and mortar store that just does um, like pop culture stuff. Uh, like, you know, toys and games and cards and all kinds of stuff. It's, that's just what the store is. Uh, and they're there every time. And usually they don't have anything that's of much interest to me. They typically bring um, just like bins of junk, um, which is fine. Like there's a lot of vendors that do that because there's a, an audience of people that just want to dig through old stuff and, and find cheap, incomplete sort of stuff. Um, so I don't think I've ever bought anything from him at that convention because it's just, it doesn't bring the type of stuff that I'm usually looking for. But this time, this time, he had this. Uh, so he had Hero Quest board game, the original Hero Quest board game. Uh, says it's complete. He had shrink wrapped it, which is understandable if you're bringing a, something like this to a convention. You don't want it falling open and pieces going everywhere. But he says it's complete. So I'll, I'll open it and double check it. Um, this is an iconic board game from 1989. You know, today we get these really complicated board games, but back in 1989, you, you had your Monopolies and your Saris and stuff like this. This is a dungeon crawler complex board game, which was pretty unprecedented at the time. Um, the box is in great shape. Um, again, I'm hoping it's complete, but I'm really excited to open it up and check it out. Uh, but not only did he have this, he also had the two expansions that go with it. The, uh, the only two expansions, which he also says are complete and also re-shrink wrapped, um, and understandably. So I'll check those out. Um, so, and you know, he, he had them. Priced the, the the expansions were priced pretty well. Um, this was probably a little bit overpriced for for what I saw um, 
sailed, uh, sold auctions going for. But I, I, I threw him an offer and he accepted it, which got it to about, about where it should be. Um, but I didn't have to pay shipping and handling to get it right. Shipping and handling on something like this is going to be like 20 bucks. Um, so I, 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 I think I got this for like not a steal, but a reasonable amount. And I, 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 considering that I got such good prices on everything else that I bought today, I was like, I'm, it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, and then as, as I was, uh, as, as, uh, he was packing these into, um, a bag, I noticed he also had, uh, this <laughs> it's the full set of 1989 tops teenage Mutant Ninja turtles cards um with the the sticker expansion and um i i was like uh would you throw could i throw that in for however much uh he's like yeah whatever because it's it's i mean it's it's not really worth much but it's like cool uh but i am so excited to open this oh it's also it's also uh this is developed with Games Workshop. Um, if you're unfamiliar with HeroQuest, uh, I highly suggest that after you watch this video, uh, you in YouTube, you search for uh, why HeroQuest is so great uh, and watch that video with a very distinguished looking bearded gentleman. And it will tell you everything about why HeroQuest is so great. And it is hilarious. Uh, I had to watch it again before I made this video because it reminded me of it. Like, oh, I need to watch that video again. It's like a six minute video, but it is hilarious. Um, so yeah, that, that was it. It was, it was, um, it was quite the, quite the day. Uh, I, I didn't go, you know, it wasn't as, as expensive as last weekend. Uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't resist some of the, 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 the prices that were on this stuff it was just it was too good especially those comics i could i when i when i knowing that these books were priced very like very very well and then i sent him an offer or at, gave him an offer and then he just accepted it i couldn't i could not believe what i got those books for i'm so so happy uh i hadn't seen him at that convention before so i asked him is this your first time here i haven't seen you uh he's like yeah he's he usually walks around and whatnot but he got a booth there I'm like well i hope you're back next time and you have more stuff because um and there, there was other stuff there that i considered getting um just because it was priced so well stuff i didn't necessarily need um but i decided to be smart about it um and and just kind of got stuff for my my personal collection um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna catalog some comics. I'm gonna open up some board games and look at some pieces. I'm gonna flip through some cards and gonna open some Star Trek packs. Man, I, this is, this wasn't, wasn't the best day to do this because I'm going out of town next week, uh, and have a lot of crap to do, but now I just want to play with my new toys. Um, but anyway, yep, that, that is, that is it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, man, I hope there's no, no, uh, convention, more conventions coming up anytime soon because my wallet cannot take it. Um, let me know if you've played Hero Quest. I've actually only, I didn't have this as a kid. Uh, I've only actually played it once. Um, I had a, a friend in one of my old, my old D and D groups. Um, he had it as a kid and loved it. And he got a copy of it one time and we played that instead of D and D and it was super fun. So I only played it once. So I'm glad to have it myself now so I can play it. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the expansions as well. I'm super, super excited. Um, but yep, yeah, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And of course, don't forget to make yours Titan. This video was brought to you by Titan comic pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan comic pressing LLC.